If you're new, my name's Lauren. I thought it'd be really fitting to start off the first vlog that I'm filming in December in front of the Christmas tree. I think it's a nice touch. It is December 3rd. And if you guys remember back in, I can't believe I bought this in October, but I feel like you almost have to plan ahead when you see things like this because I feel like they can sell out. So, I bought the Sephora Favorites Advent Calendar, and it's not the Sephora brand favorites, it's all of the favorites from the year at Sephora. So it's all the different brands that they have that are included. I feel like when I first bought it, I like briefly skimmed through the products, and I was like, okay, I at least like three of these products. Let me just purchase this. Last year I did the Trader Joe's chocolate advent calendar and it just wasn't as fun and exciting because it was all the same pieces of chocolate and I feel like that is fun for kids or it can be fun but this year I really wanted to do something fun different and this gives me like an opportunity to try a bunch of products. It is December 3rd today and I saved day one, two, and obviously three for this vlog. So what I think I'm gonna do is I am going to open it each day for myself and then I'll share when I pick up the camera again what I got during the days that I wasn't vlogging and share and things like that. Okay, so I'm gonna start, so here's one. So I'm gonna start with one. I'm really excited. I'm like so excited. I've been like waiting over a month to open this. This is a perfume, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so this is what it is and what it looks like. Ooh, I'm gonna look up this perfume and figure out what it's notes of. It smells familiar for some reason. Okay, so it's an earthy and woody fragrance. Um, sandalwood, vetiver, and amber wood are the key notes. So it's warm woods. It smells really good. It's definitely more of a winter scent for me personally. It is a little bit woodsy, so it's something that I'd maybe gravitate towards during the winter but it does remind me of the Le Labo perfume one of their perfumes I don't remember the numbers because I'm not super familiar with their perfumes but I tried out one of their perfumes because they sell the little travel size ones so you can try it out before you like purchase the big bottle and it was like six dollars and it reminds me of that that I shared like a couple months ago okay so that's Good. I love little perfumes. It's perfect for like a work bag or a purse. Okay, so I'm gonna open day two now. Oh wait, how do I know that this is gonna be in here? Of course, like there, I feel like you can't have an advent calendar from Sephora without a mini Laneige lip sleeping mask. This is in, I don't think I've used this flavor before or scent. This is gonna be just perfect. To have like a little one maybe i can put it on my nightstand or something day three okay i feel like i'm just like ripping up the whole entire thing because it's not coming off that easily i'm trying to get this out 
Okay, the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, which I have used before in the past, and um, I prefer what I use personally, um, just because I don't really remember this holding my brows really well but i'm open to trying it again since i do have it now i just use literally hair gel for my eyebrows because I, it really holds them but i know that some people hate the feeling of their brows not being able to move but my brows are really long i don't have many brow hairs but they're really long so they can like move really easily so i need something to really hold them down so we'll give that a try again, but, and I'll open up day four tomorrow with you guys, and it's a big one. Day four is a big one. But I feel like these little advent calendars are also like a good way to try a bunch of different products out, and that way you can buy the full size, and it's also like a little surprise every day. So I'm really excited to do this. So I wanted to share that. Um, I don't really have much on the agenda for today. I posted a YouTube video this morning. I am going to actually film a video in a little bit. It's requested. I don't know if it's going to be going up before this or after this vlog, but um, if it's not up before this, it's coming after. So I'm going to film that really quick and then I will probably talk to you guys after that. Okay, I just finished filming that YouTube video and I wanna try something out and see if it works. So, what it is is I saw this somewhere online and I can't remember where I saw it, I think TikTok, and it has to do with the silk hair ties. These are the knockoff brand, I think. They're not the slip ones, so they're not even like the nice expensive ones. So if it works on these, I feel like it will work on the more expensive ones. And I almost bought a new pack of the slip brand not the knockoff brand because they're so stretched out and um, I was going to just purchase a new pack and I saw this trick and I want to find out if it works and I started using these hair ties again because I've noticed a lot of breakage in my hair from wearing my hair in a slick back bun so I'm not doing that anymore I'm trying to wear my hair in a braid wear my hair in a claw clip just try different things that won't cause as much breakage so that includes wearing these hair ties so i'm going to try washing them in the washer in a little laundry bag to help protect them and let them air dry and see if they get their shape back okay well those are in the washing machine I wanted to share these. I just got them in the mail yesterday and the company reached out and offered to send me some of their candy or some of their goodies. And it's a pack of six little individual bags and it's three different types of candy. And I kid you not, we just got these yesterday and Christian and I already went through the other three bags. So it came with two of each. They are so good. And you know the Smart Sweets brand? I feel like some of their types of candy just doesn't taste good and I'd rather just eat the real thing than eat something like that that's like healthier and these are actually really good for them only having four grams of sugar or five grams of sugar I'm like actually shocked how good they are they're better than smart sweets in my opinion and um, I can link them down below if you guys like sour candy i'm definitely more of a chocolate girl but every once in a while it's nice to have like a gummy especially like a sour gummy i really love them so there's watermelon slices sour novas which is like a variety of different candy there's like blue raspberry black cherry lime lemon orange or lime lemon orange tropical punch and then there's peach bites Christian and I both think that the watermelon one is the best. It really tastes like the Sour Patch watermelon. It's crazy. So I just wanted to share because they did send over some of their candy and it actually tastes good, which I feel like sometimes can be hard. When companies make healthier candy, it doesn't necessarily taste that good, but this tastes better than the Smart Sweets completely. 
I just remembered that I didn't shake the snow globe for Starbucks for life and I play this every year and there are ways to get around not having to go to Starbucks every day to play and I do kind of go more during December because I am playing this game so it definitely does influence me to go but do you guys play Starbucks for life? I went every single day I think it was probably like five I think it was five Christmases ago because it was when I was working at I used to work at it's a chain restaurant I used to work at Caraba's Italian Grill and I worked there for two and a half years through the end of college and I really liked it because I grew so close to people there my two best friends worked there while I was working there it was just it was like one of my favorite jobs i truly enjoyed it obviously sometimes the customers were terrible but when i was in college and i was single i worked saturday sunday doubles every single weekend for a whole entire year besides two weekends so i used to just like get that money it was absolutely insane i cannot believe i only missed two weekends because one weekend I took off to move into an apartment out by my college campus and then another weekend I forget what it was but I worked all the holidays I worked every single Saturday and Sunday a double shift for a whole entire year I cannot believe that I used to do that I had a lot of energy back then um, but I went every single day during that month of December before like my shifts and um i i think i won 500 stars or something but i never won like the starbucks for a month or starbucks for six months starbucks for life or anything i think i won maybe it was like 300 stars but have you guys won anything from the starbucks for life i feel like i get like random like stars maybe i've won like a free drink i've also never heard of anyone like winning and like after going for a whole entire month every single day i just didn't feel like it was worth it to go because you didn't end up getting anything because i was like okay it's fine like i'll go every single day for a month and i'll probably win like starbucks for three months or something and i didn't win anything i feel like it's kind of like addicting to play like i get excited to shake the snow globe and see if i win anything i'm probably about to eat dinner because taylor and Maya are coming over tonight and we're gonna do like a cheese board so i think i'm gonna eat dinner before that so i don't just eat cheese and crackers for dinner um so i think i'm about to cook heat up some leftovers we had tacos last night for dinner so i think i'm gonna have some leftovers for dinner and then um save some room for cheese and crackers but i'm excited for them to come over we're gonna watch a movie maybe and yeah just hang out i'll obviously vlog too but okay update on the scrunchies I think it kind of worked for these right here, but this one, I think it's just like past the point of no return. Like see how stretched out it is. I think it worked for these though. But this, you see how like the difference, how this one's just so worn out and these are not as bad. I think it really worked. And I put them in the dryer on like the regular setting and not like the delicate heat setting. And I think it kind of worked. So try it and let me know if it works for you guys. Okay, I'm setting the vibes in here. I'm gonna do a fireplace. Is it the live one? I wish I had a fireplace, but I don't. Taylor and Maya are here. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna, we're doing a um, cheese board. So I got one of these for Christmas last year and it actually comes with little knives and everything. So we're gonna set some stuff up. Taylor picked up some stuff and Maya brought some cheese and they both brought wine and some fun things. So I got prosciutto. These crackers are really good. Which one, they're the fig one? No. Yeah. Yeah, fig. Fig and rosemary, I think. Big and rosemary I crackers. Threw the, I threw away the box. It's okay. <laughs> um, some of these non crackers, more prosciutto, and then Maya brought the cheeses. Jarsburg. 
Um, Brie, oh, Taylor brought this, which the boars and cheese is so good and she found it in Bites. And then this Hatch chili cheese. So we're gonna assemble this on that. And then Kim Crawford wine, which is really good. Never had I this. I thought that in my fridge. <laughs> you did. I have no idea. <laughs> it's probably delish. So we're gonna build the little cheese board. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. So Taylor's oh god, putting Taylor. edible glitter. You want to put it in yours? Oh my gosh. Huh? Now it looks <laughs> like rose. <laughs> I love rose. Okay, that's enough. Oh, oh my god, look, it looks like fruit punch now. <laughs> looks punch. like fruit punch. Yeah, this is a good shot. Is there, there's a color on it or it just turns your lips red because it pumps? A little bit. I'm sorry. Here's... Is this going to turn my mouth red? Let me, let me try. I don't think so. My tongue red? that I got a couple weeks ago. I just finally decided to wear them because now that it's December, I feel like it's a little bit more acceptable to wear Christmas PJs. And these are the Show Me Your Moo Moo brand. They have a red and white striped one and then a green and white striped one. And they also have like other colors, but these are the two colors that are like holiday or Christmas-y. And I talked my sister into getting the green and white striped one. So on Christmas day when we are all together as a family we can match in our christmas pjs so i'm really excited i'm about to change out of my pjs and go to the grocery but i thought it'd be fun to open up the next day day four in the advent calendar and i can't even find four. Ooh, four is big it's a big one i can't even see i'm excited it's like a little gift every day like how fun oh i've never tried this it's the scalp revival by the briogeo brand i don't think i've ever tried this i've tried the other mask that they have 
a hydrating one. I'm gonna need to look it up to see if it reacts or changes your hair color because I know some masks that you use for your hair can kind of like strip the color and I really don't want it to strip my hair color. So I'm gonna look this up. I'll keep you guys updated. So I'm gonna change and go to the grocery and I'll pick up the camera a little bit later. Okay, I just got home from Publix. I picked up some of these reusable bags because I do need to be better about not using their plastic bags. So I got these and they're very holiday and fun. And I love the designs. And I have one at home, but I keep forgetting to put it in my car. So I'll remember if they're all sitting out on the counter to bring them down next time I go down to my car to keep them in my trunk. But my work holiday party is this Friday and we're getting like Four Rivers catered and people sign up to bring things. So I'm gonna bring gluten-free, dairy-free banana bread that I've made like a million times. So I just got these little containers and I needed more of these chocolate chips then some more gluten-free flour. So I got some items to make trail mix because I've been eating this one from Trader Joe's. It just has almonds, chocolate, and cashews but it doesn't have the best ingredients there is. There's canola oil, there's just not the best ingredients, but I've been really liking it. So I decided to just kind of create my own. So we had some cashews left over, but I just got an extra bag just in case because there wasn't a lot left. We had almonds and I just wanna show you guys, I've shared this before, but see how the ingredients just say almonds. This just says cashews and sea salt. And then I got, I don't think I'm gonna do these because they're salty. Maybe I'll throw in a few, but this is the Hue just chocolate gems. And these are really good. I love their chocolate bars. And um, they only sell the snacking gems at Publix. To get the bars, I have to go to Whole Foods. And I just can't make it out there all the time. But the ingredients on these are just organic cacao, organic unrefined coconut sugar, organic coconut butter, and sea salt. And then this one's the same thing. It just doesn't have sea salt in it. So just really good ingredients. So I got those, and then I just picked up some of these dark cherries to add, just to add a little bit into the trail mix bag because it's so easy to just recreate this with better ingredient filled nuts and chocolate and it will taste just as good. Okay, so easy, just have a big bowl the lid and I can just grab trail mix every day and this will last me a really long time like a few weeks maybe even a month and I feel like it's the perfect thing to just have on hand that's a little bit healthier when you're craving something salty and sweet like an afternoon snack pre-workout I think this would just be perfect to have in my pantry with healthy ingredients no added oils extra things that aren't necessary
just got out of the shower and did my skincare, so my face is a little bit dewy right now, but I had two things that I wanted to share with you guys before I ended off this video that I can thank TikTok for, and they've changed the game for me. First is I now gua sha in the shower, and I feel like it's helped me stay on track and stay consistent with it, and I've been doing it for a little bit over a week now, so we'll see how long I stick to it. So I double cleanse. I use the Oat Cleansing Balm by The Inky List, and then I just use like a regular cleanser, and I use this with the cleanser. And I haven't had any negative effects from it, from doing it in the shower as opposed to out of the shower with an oil. Um, I haven't gotten little bumps, acne, nothing. It just has really helped me keep it in my routine for a solid week, which is hard. I haven't stayed consistent with gua sha for a week in a really long time, so I think that this might work for me. So I'm going to continue doing it in the shower, but if you guys struggle with incorporating gua sha into your routine and you want to, try it in the shower. And then second, I feel like this is funny because it makes sense to me and I like question why I never thought about it. But when I get out of the shower, I leave my skin kind of damp. I don't fully dry myself off and then I apply a moisturizer. And maybe I'm the last person on earth to discover this or think about it, but it really helps with the lotion or the oils or the serums that you're putting on your body to seep in and i feel like i'm more moisturized and hydrated even though i haven't switched up the products at all and it makes sense because when i do hyaluronic acid i make sure my skin is damp before applying it because it helps the hyaluronic acid seep in so i wonder why i didn't put two and two together and think about doing that with my lotion and I feel like I'm moisturized for longer and just better. And it's crazy because I'm using the same exact products. So I feel like this will be a great tip for you guys for the winter time because skin gets dry in the winter time. So just try leaving your skin like a little bit damp. Don't completely dry off out of the shower and put on moisturizer and see the difference because it makes such a difference. So I wanted to share quickly the I guess moisturizer and the oil that I'm using. I've been using this moisturizer for so many years since I went on Accutane and it was probably one of the best moisturizers that I've used and it's cheap. It's just like a drugstore brand and it doesn't leave that film on your skin that some lotions do. So I really like this. I get the advanced therapy one for extremely dry skin or extra dry skin. And then I've been mixing in a pump or two of the Osea um, body oil, which you can tell I absolutely love this product. It's my favorite. And I've just been mixing these two and it's been such a great pair for my skin, especially since now I don't completely dry off my skin once I get out of the shower. It's just been really helping me with my dry skin. So try it out, let me know if it works for you. I haven't even started drinking my tea yet because it gets so hot from that kettle that now that I've like gone out of the shower and done my skincare, I think I can now drink it and be fine. But I wanted to go ahead and end off this vlog. I'm gonna drink my sleepy time tea and get ready for work. And um, I just wanna say how grateful I am for my job because I used to get like the worst Sunday scaries, which sounds so stupid. I used to get the worst Sunday scaries with previous jobs. I used to just had this like built up anxiety towards going and I just felt like each week there was always something like wrong that happened or it was just like a stressful, overwhelming week and I used to leave the work day feeling emotionally and physically drained and um, I have not once gotten the sunday scaries with my new job and i have never left the work day like yeah work is exhausting and it can be stressful and all that stuff but i've never left the work day feeling like emotionally drained which i feel like is even worse than being like physically drained and i feel like i have that my co-workers and my boss to thank for that like my personal co-worker like I work amongst a bunch of people but 
the girl on my team she truly gives me energy like our conversations are just so great and yeah they're work related and everything and yeah we chit chat about other things too but I feel like I'm so thankful for her and I'm thankful for the job that I have and my boss and I'm just so happy where I am with my work life and I was just thinking about it when I was leaving work on Friday and I didn't want to make this a whole spiel but I truly am like so grateful that I get energized from my conversations with my coworkers and I feel like that's so important in a workspace because on a weekly basis we spend a lot of our days at work obviously and it's so important to be going somewhere or doing something that brings you like happiness and contentment and doesn't stress you out too much I mean work is stressful in other ways don't get me wrong like there's gonna be stressful days but to not feel emotionally and physically drained from just a work day is such a relief. I just feel really lucky that I get to go to a job every week, feeling good, going into a new week, and not very stressed out with Sunday scaries. So cheers to that. I hope you guys have a great work week ahead or whenever you're watching this, I hope you're having a great day or night when you see it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys in my next YouTube video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.